Hey guys, so I'm finally done with the battery. Uh, the next part I had to do was find trucks. So I have these torque boards, I think they're 220 millimeter, they're pretty wide. Um, I needed wide, uh, wide trucks for this particular deck. This is actually much wider than normal. Let me measure it out for you. This is, you know how wide this is? Normally, this is 10 inches long. This is a super huge deck for a pretty, you know, a 36 inch deck. So I've got torque trucks on here and they do have uh, mounts for 50 or 63 millimeter. I do have the motor mounts, but the problem was the motor mount was made for 63 and I wanted to keep the weight down. And that's why I'm using 5065 motors, this one here. So, uh, I have to, uh, I won't be, I, I, I didn't have time to order the right parts from torque board. So what I did is, actually this is a really good alternative to using torque board stuff. I had these old DIY E I ordered on Amazon. These are like cheaper motor mounts. They're the same shape as a uh, torque board, but it was a slightly smaller. So I used a Dremel, like it took me all day to like, not all day, but a few hours to to make the hole a little bigger. Um, so it's now fits pretty good. Now the good thing with DIY E uh, motor mounts, they just have one screw to tighten everything down, which is sort of nice. Uh, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and figure out how I'm gonna align it. So I'm most likely gonna go like this and like this. So I have some clearance. Uh, the biggest thing, if you're gonna put uh, your motors inwards or outwards, obviously this is a, a one with a kicktail and I wanna make use of kicktail. If you go the, the opposite way, the problem now becomes you're not gonna be able to use a kicktail. And also when you use the kicktail, even if you can, your motor is gonna scrape. All right, so that's something to think about before you build the board. One of the advantages of having it under, uh, it just keeps it sleek. Uh, it's harder to see the motors, and also it keeps the motors uh, from be hitting the ground when using the back tail. Now, if you're doing off road and there's gonna you're gonna be going with gravel roads where rocks are thrown at the motor, then you'll want to actually go the opposite way. That's why a lot of the ATR boards are outward. All right, but this board, particular board I'm building, it's not for off roading. It's uh, it's gonna be for you know, just mild off-roading, maybe, um, like dirt roads at the at the worst, but mostly on concrete, asphalt, right, sidewalks. So I just need good clearance. How much clearance do you want? You just you just need enough clearance uh, where go ahead and loosen your trucks all the way, so you know when your trucks move. You know the reason why I'm telling you this is you, if you're building your first board. Because I built it, uh, I didn't think about like the clearance problem, and then and then I'm riding and I'm like, oh no, <laughs> the motor mounts are touching. So if you make it too low, see see how it's touching. So when you're turning, your motor mounts might start grinding, and you know that could be a bad design. Or you can use a riser also if you just have run out of options. You've already set up everything, then you can get, you know, we can raise it like half an inch. All right, you can raise it an inch. No, but try to keep it low. Um, so I have to think about that. So I want it, I want it at that angle, like the, I, I think about an, an inch of clearance, maybe, maybe three quarters of an inch. See how it will never touch from this, this particular. Yeah, this is about perfect right there. About three quarters of an inch, I would say. Just give you a good three quarters of an inch. And then another thing you'll have to think about is obviously, I put the motor on here, and you're gonna go ahead and put the wheel you're gonna put on there. And you're gonna have to think about, put the wheel all the way in, so let's say this one with the pulley. Every pulley is gonna have to be slightly different. Yeah. Sick. Now there, there's a spacer, that's why I gotta sort of align it, if it doesn't align itself. Go ahead and push in your wheel with the pulley all the way, all right? 
And you can see here, I can't put the motor mount here. I need a clearance. So you're going to need roughly about anywhere from one millimeter. I've had one millimeter clearance to five millimeters. So that's going to be about right. And you can go ahead and just, just tighten it down a little bit and later completely tie it down after you test it out. But that, that seems fine right there. So that's where you're going to go ahead and mount it where you pull it. And you have to also think about uh, if you're going to go ahead and, you know, most of the time you're going to put a washer. So put a washer when you do this. So you know that you can put a washer because that washer will make uh, almost a millimeter difference. About, ah. anyway. well, it's like it. okay, so grab a washer and then do it, right? That way you do it for exact fitting. And once you have where you want to tie it down, um, you can go ahead and tie it down. And I'm going to go ahead and Actually, let's just tie it down together while we're at it. So I'm just going to give myself just roughly about three millimeters. Or was that like a, almost a one eighth inch? Sorry, I know a lot of you guys are from different parts of the world that's watching this. And uh, yeah, I, I actually usually think in American inches because I live here most of my life. But uh, I'm trying to get back into metric. It's sort of come back and forth. So let me go ahead and tighten this do down and see how it fits. And let's see if how my machining worked out. Okay. Okay, almost done. I hope this get right about there. Not really tightening. So another problem I'm running into, I think I may have uh, drilled out the trucks too much. So, oh no, I don't I think these two, these trucks are too loose. Not, oh, yep, I got it, I got it. Yeah, it's perfect. They're not too loose. They're perfect. I just have to screw them. So let me align it. So I have a few, maybe three millimeters of clearance from the pulley and I'm going to go ahead and tighten it. Okay. It's still moving a little bit. Yeah, let me go ahead and tighten it just a tad more. a little, a little bit still. Oh, another thing I might have to do is actually loosen these screws. That could be why they're not screwing in. So let me go ahead and work on that. Uh, but for right now, looking pretty good. I just got to tighten this down uh, so I can fit it in there and we'll go on from there. But have a great day. I'll just show you how to uh, set up your trucks. Some stuff to think about when you're building your board. Alright.